So um, I put a poll up on my YouTube channel um, that was basically asking, you know, what should I do um, for the first part of the stream? And a lot of people seem really interested in learning how to do item management. So I want to take the first part of the stream and just do some fully commentated races. And I'm going to start on a, a, a more or less fresh account just to kind of teach you some of the basics of item management and what you should be trying to pay attention to um, when it comes to using items effectively. Now, I should caveat this by saying that I am not at all the best racer on the planet or anything. Um, my viewers that tune in regularly you know, regularly destroy me pretty hard. Um, but I've been playing the game for about a year and a half now, and so I've learned a few things, um, and uh, I wanted to share some of that information with you all. So um, before we kind of jump into that, I just wanted to say thank you all for tuning in, and uh, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the, uh, the video. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hop into online, go into Worldwides. Um, you can see here that it's a fairly fresh account, so I think I've done like one or two races on this account. I do suggest actually doing worldwides instead of regionals. Um, the reason being, at least for me anyways, um, the, the hours that I play, I, it tends to be pretty late. And the regional lobbies are really hit and miss. Like if you're just starting out, you'll get lobbies where, you know, some people are around your skill level or around your, your VR here. So your, your virtual rating or whatever, this versus race rating. Uh, but you'll get like, you're much more likely to encounter situations where you're like running, racing with people that are like 40,000 and stuff like that. And it's just kind of, it's kind of just discouraging to play um, with people that are just like that. Cause the rating doesn't really translate to skill that well uh, after a certain point, but I can guarantee you that a 40,000 point person is going to be way better than your average like thousand point person so um, i definitely suggest doing worldwides for that reason now for item management there's going to be three things that we really want to focus on so basically if you're like within first to third you want to play pretty defensively uh, the reason being that if you're in first obviously there's nothing else you can do but if you're in second you have to worry about um, trying to get in first but also you have to worry about the person behind you so if you have red shells for example and you're in second place you don't want to be throwing them at the person in first until you're until you're ready to defend yourself from whatever red shells or whatever else might come uh, from the person behind you and then if you're in back basically the idea is just you know just to be as aggressive as possible. You're already really far back. There's not much of a point in trying to, to play defensively when you're when you're in back. Let's actually jump into some races and I will kind of go through my thought process when I'm using items. The thing you should be focusing on most to get better at racing online is to actually race, like is to do the time trials. I, I've said this like a million times, but I cannot stress enough how important it is to do the time trials. You can be the best item player in the world. And if you don't know how to run any of the tracks, it's not going to be a good time. Okay, so we've had some unsuccessful attempts at getting some first races going. We're going to start, I'm going to pick whatever course is going on here. While we're waiting for everybody to pick a course, um, here's what we're going to focus on for this first race. So the first race that we're going to, the first race that we're going to focus on, I already mentioned that if you're in first place, you will basically want to try and play defensively. And if you're not, you play, the, the lower you get, the more aggressively you want to play. Now, what do I mean by playing defensively? If you have a coin, in your first item slot, then what you want to do is just hold on to it until you grab another item because you're guaranteed to get a defensive item. And we're not going to focus on doing any other really high level strats with that right now. We're just, what we're going to do, we're going to purely focus on getting a defensive item and holding it behind us. And that's all we're going to focus on for like the next two races. My favorite track is, my favorite track is Wild Woods. All right, so here we go. So the first set of items on TikTok clock is gonna be a single item box. And so it's most likely gonna be a coin. We'll see what we get here. We got a coin. I'm not gonna use it yet because I want to get a defensive item. Not much you can do about that. Now I used the coin before grabbing the double item box so that I could actually get two coins. I'm gonna try and just hold on to this because I know that with good driving I can get up to first place relatively easily. I'm not using rear view mirrors or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this stuff for now because I wanna just try and get up to first place. I will try and get this Yoshi out of my back though because, wow. Get out of here. Okay, I shouldn't be using my rear view mirror like that. My computer froze for a second. I'm getting wrecked kind of hard actually right now. 
Now I let go of that bomb just because I didn't really need to, but I wanted to just grab another item um, because I'm dropping a lot of spots. And so it's more likely that I'm going to be getting um, a good item in the next slot. And then again, I use the item that I got so that I could grab. Uh, I use the item that I got from the boo so that I could grab the next level item box. And then I use my fireballs to get the red shell. Kind of a lot going on right now, but this has been kind of a chaotic race. I shouldn't be doing the shortcut, honestly, but... If you do get hit by something, you only want to use one mushroom and wait until you just start going again. You don't want to be, like, spamming mushrooms if you know you're going to get hit by something. Use a mushroom. Use my last mushroom so that I can pick up, pick up another item box. Use a mushroom to get rid of the squid. And now I want to throw these red shells before the double item box, both of which hit the, the clock hands. That's kind of annoying. But I wanted to basically make sure that I got rid of my red shells again before the double item box. Don't hit me, blue shell. And again, I'm going to use the mushroom before the double item box here. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, cool, I hit him with it. See, now this... So I was being pretty greedy there, to be honest. I should have just held on to both of those shells. The re so you saw a red shell, right? If I would have had another red shell coming, I would have gotten wrecked. So that's why I shouldn't have done that. So that race didn't work out well either, but I think it's still kind of a good example of like what I mean by it. it's like you need to start playing kind of aggressively when you get down to the bottom. So it's like you want to start trying to get rid of your items if if you're not getting items that are going to hit the people in front of you. So I got to like 10th place at one point. And if you start getting if you get like to 10th place, you want to start using your items so that you can get things that are going to get you up in front of people. So if you're only getting, if you have a bomb, I'm not going to be able to do anything with a bomb if I'm in ninth place, right? So it's like, I'm going to get rid of that because I know my next item is going to be good. And it was a boo and that allowed me to get a red shell. Now I'm going to start in first. Hopefully second place doesn't get a red shell so I can actually get some time to get a defensive item here. Because I get the, the first set of items on Neo Bowser City is also a single item box. So again, most likely going to get a coin here. Oh, I got a banana. Okay. Now I'm just going to hold it behind me the entire time. And that's all I'm going to do. Now that I have my defensive item, we're just going to hold it behind us. And hopefully we don't get hit by anything. Again, this is not actually how you want to play, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. And I got really lucky actually because now I have two defensive items. So I got a banana and a green shell, both of which I can just drag behind me. Normally you can build up an ultra mini turbo there, but again, I'm not doing it just because it's a little bit more uh, difficult to build up an ultra mini turbo there. Again, build up an ultra mini turbo there, and then you can just go off the glider with the ultra mini turbo, but we're avoiding um, the advanced stuff. I'm going to teach you guys something kind of cool right now. Hopefully. I don't think this is going to work, actually. I'm not going to have time. Yeah, I didn't have enough time. If you, uh, if you run into a banana... Um, it's actually faster to get hit to run into a banana than it is to just get hit by a blue shell. But one thing I should point out is that's the reason why you don't just want to drag defensive items behind you the entire time. Because of the fact that if a blue shell comes, it's going to destroy you. And also to the commenter on my last video who said that you don't need to drop off a bomb and you'll be able to avoid the explosion anyway. There you go. You need to drop off the bomb sometimes. Now, I, I purposely stayed in the air a little bit longer with the glider there. If you get hit by a red shell, this guy, second place, literally had three red shells. So stupid. If you get hit by a red shell or something while you're in midair, um, then can I get this double item box? Oh, I can. I'm going to just not play aggressively. I'm going to just try and get ahead of this dude. Okay, cool. Oh, he had another, he had a banana. That's great. But it's okay. I'm just going to play defensively. I'll take second place. Now, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this red shell because I know a double item box is coming. And so what I did there, I, I threw the red shell after he grabbed the double item box or right around when he was going to grab the double item box the reason being once he passes those that double item box i know he's not getting any more items but i i had a red shell and nothing else so when i throw my red shell i'm going to have two free item slots by the time i get to the double item box now 
what I would like out of that is two additional red shells so that I can hit the guy even harder because if he gets hit by three red shells and you're in first place, there's literally no way to not get hit by at least one red shell. What I got was actually a little bit luckier because I got a mushroom uh, as well. So that allowed me to take the cut at the very end of the race. So it's one of those things where it's like, you kind of have to improvise. Like you have a plan, but it didn't work out. So then you just end up getting, um, you end up just getting items that, you know, like to take shortcuts and stuff instead. But yeah, that's one thing you have to think about is like, if you have a red shell, when do you want to throw it? You don't want to throw a red shell at first place if they have a defensive item and they're about to grab like more item boxes. You want to wait until they're about to, um, until they're already past the items. That way they, like, they don't have any other chances to defend themselves. And one thing also that I didn't really get to go over very much um, was that like, cause there's a lot of stuff happening in that race, but you do actually want to be in the middle of a glider. Like if a red shell is coming and you're in the middle of a glider, you want to be in midair or a blue shell for that matter too. Because of the fact that like your forward momentum will keep go, like your, your, your forward momentum will keep carrying you. Um, you know, it, you'll, you'll keep going forward basically uh, when you, after you get hit by the shell. Whereas if you get hit by if you get hit on the ground, you just stop completely. But that's only true for gliders. If you're in the middle of like a jump, like if you go off like an orange boost ramp or something, that's not gonna happen. You're just gonna stop dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any of the shortcuts here. So a coin. Now I'm gonna use the coin here. Normally I would say don't use a coin. But the thing about Mario Kart Stadium, this next set of items has a double item box. So it's like I know that. If I get hit by a red shell, I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna be able to get something that's not a defense, uh, a coin, anyways. And if the second, if second place doesn't have a red shell, well, then you know, I just get two items regardless. Now I know that there is a mushroom shortcut coming up, so I'm gonna go through here and take an inside line. You want to bounce off the wall there if you can, just because it's, it makes it easier to take the, it makes it easier to get a good line. I'm gonna hold on to this bomb. Normally what I would do, that's exactly why I held on to that bomb, by the way. I could have tried to throw it at first place, but I was like, well, if I'm going to get hit by something from third place, if I'm going to get hit by a red shell, then I want something to defend myself. Again, I'm going to hold on to this red shell. There's a blue shell coming from first place, so that's lucky for us. And again, I'm just going to get rid of my green shell. Now, the other thing that I should point out is that you want to try and have a coin in your first item slot as much as you can. The reason being that if a ghost comes, a ghost can steal your whatever is in your first item slot. So right now I have a coin. Oh, shoot. I did not want to. Again, I use the coin there because I know that a double item box is coming up next. So that's another thing you need to learn about when you're playing these when you're playing this, um, these courses online is to know what your next set of items is going to be. Are you only going to be able to get one item or two? Now I have a coin in my first item slot. I'm not going to use it because of the fact that again, right there, perfect example. If I use my coin, I wouldn't have any defense. My a boo, uh, a, uh, that boo would have stolen my banana. So you always want to make sure to try and keep the coin. If you're in first place, keep the coin in your first item spot. And that's exactly why. Perfect timing, right? I'm so glad that worked out the way it did. <laughs> that I wasn't going to actually talk about that for a couple more races, but that's the next kind of piece of advice is if you are in first place, keep the keep the coin in your in your first item slot as much as you as, as much as you can because if a boo steals your items, you're going to have a really bad time if you only have like a green shell in your first item slot. It's going to steal your item and then you're going to get hit by a red shell. So you know, if you're in first, keep the coin in your first item slot. And so what that means is if you, if you grab, like if you say you grab a double item box, right? You're in first place and then your first item spot has a green shell. Your second item spot has a coin. You, you still hold the green shell for a while, but then just before getting to the next item box, get rid of that shell and replace and, 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 and then your coin will move up to your first item spot. And then you can replace your second item spot with another defensive item. We're on TikTok clock again. So again, TikTok clock, the very first set of items is a single, it's a set of single, it's like a line of single item boxes. So we're gonna see what we get. We got a coin, so we're gonna hold on to it. 
Actually, I can get rid of it because the next set of item boxes is a double item box. So now we got a coin and a green shell. Perfect. We're going to just hold on to it. And I release the coin. If I use the coin and then um, uh, drag the, uh, the, uh, the green shell behind me immediately. So your timing has to be a bit quick. What you can also do... What you should be doing, I'm not going to do this too much just so I can keep things simple. You should be checking your rearview mirror every once in a while. At least when you're on straightaways. Because sometimes what will happen is you won't get the red shell notifications until it's like way too late. It's like I'll go like this, check my rearview mirror, I don't see anything. I'll just keep going. And then now I'm going to be going straight for a while, no red shells. You just keep looking in your rear view mirror every once in a while. I'm not going to do it too much right now just because it's, it's, it's going to be too much to focus on when you're trying to learn how to play. I was pretty fortunate that the lightning happened there because then I just get another double item box right away. What will happen a lot of the time is that um, the lightning will come like right after you pass the double item box and then you're left with nothing and it's a really bad position to be in. So I'm on a long straightaway, just going to check my rear view mirror, don't see anything, very nice. Uh, you can, um, you can recycle for better defensive items. I mean, when you're in first place, like every defensive item is more or less the same. They have the same utility because you're only using your items. When you're in first place, you're really only using your items to not get hit by stuff behind you. And so it's like bombs, green shells, bananas. They all kind of serve the same purpose when you're in first place. See, so I saw the red shell notification and I used my item. I use my coin. Oh, that happens sometimes. You just gotta deal with it, unfortunately. Not much you can do about this. Yeah, I got... Yeah, there's really, there's really nothing you can do about stuff like this. You know, getting hit by like five red shells and stuff. It just happens from time to time and you, you have to accept that sometimes you're just gonna have bad races and there's nothing you can do about it. There's literally nothing we could have done there. I was debating going into this, but one thing you can also do is you can try and purposely hang back in second place so that you don't get a coin. You can still get uh, a coin in second place, but it's much less likely. Okay, so, yeah, see, see what this guy did? Even though he got the boost, he purposely dropped back to second so that he wouldn't get a coin to start. Now I'm going to use this coin because, again, the next set of items is going to have a double item box there. I'm going to grab a couple more coins here because coins are very good for making you go fast. And there, we're just gonna we're just gonna hold this. I shouldn't do this. I should just hold on. I should have held on to my coin again, just in case it gets stolen by a boo. But it, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of just play it by ear from time to time. Again, you can't really do anything when second place gets only red shells. It just, it just happens. I shouldn't really be going for that shortcut either. I don't want to go behind. I got rid of my banana there so that I could try and get something else. Got another banana. But it's in but it's a banana that's in my second item slot, so if I happen to get ahead of this guy, that'll be good. And one thing that I haven't really talked about is like so this um, the Wario is dragging a red shell. And one thing you want to try and do is not be right behind somebody who's dragging items behind them, because then you'll get hit and it's a bad time. I'm gonna oh I was gonna use my coin there so I could try and get another item, but the Wario. Aw, oh, dude, I don't know how that hit me. Oh, did he get... Did he get... Oh, he didn't get shut in the drink, though. Come on, man. Can I run him over? Aw, oh, almost could run him over. And he got the item box, too. It's really unfortunate. But we're doing... I mean, we're playing okay. This Kugi person is like not playing, not playing the track correctly at all. Though you really don't want to be going on the side of the wall there. Got a mushroom and a red shell. So we're gonna just hold on to this for now. Mushrooms aren't that good, but the mushroom in this position is basically a coin. How many red shells is this guy gonna get though? Like honestly. My turn, dude. Dude, that was that was pretty much just my fault playing badly, but 
It's getting it's getting kind of ridiculous though that the second place is like getting only red shells. I can't do very much when when that's happening. All right, DK jungle now. So, um, the first set of items, the first item box. There is a double item box on the right side, I believe. So this Wario seems to be. Oh no, the, I forgot about this set of items. I'm like totally missing. I don't I don't play this track enough to know where all the item boxes are at actually. So again, we're gonna hold on to this. Actually, we're not going to because the next set of items is a double item box up here. For DK Jungle, you can just drift straight through the grass up here and go off the glider ramp, which is gonna be better than going around. If you watch my DK Jungle tutorial, you'll know that the way I'm doing the, glide, the, the orange boost ramps is not good at all, but that's just what we're doing here. And we're just going to hold on to these items for now. Again, I'm not going to use my coin because I don't want it to get stolen from a boo. The other thing that I should point out... Oh, one sec. The other thing I should point out is that um, if you are dragging an item behind you and a blue shell comes, I'm going to just demonstrate this right now. Bang. It destroys whatever you're holding behind you. That's the other reason why you don't just want to drag defensive items behind you all the time. Because if a blue shell comes and hits you while you're holding it, it goes away. So yeah, you basically, the, the things you want to keep in mind in playing defensively is keep the, keep the, the coin in your first item slot and do not use your defensive item until you absolutely need to. You want to try and time it as late as possible because if a blue shell comes, you're going to get hit. If a boo comes, you're going to get your item stolen. I don't know if this is going to work. Damn it, dude. Pretty unfortunate place to have that happen. Metal Mario, dude. Hilarious. I don't know what happened there, but... Again, I'm going to hold on to this. Just because I can't, and I'm not, I'm not gonna really be aggressive here. Plus, he's gonna get hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna by that. One thing you should be paying attention to is your mini map as well. So you can see blue shells on the mini map and you can kind of hear them, but look at your mini map all the time so that you can see whether there's blue shells coming. You can see who's using stars, who's using bullets, etc., etc. Now, I'm gonna be using my rear view mirror here just because the uh, second place had a double item box. Use your, use your horn when you see the, uh, the, in the item indicator come up and you should be pretty, you should be pretty safe there. You can kind of hear it because the, the indicator will come up and then it'll start getting louder and louder and louder right before you get hit. It does take a little bit of practice to know when that's coming, but you'll, it's sort of second nature after a while. And when you're like, when you're playing online, again, you should be using your rear view mirror so that you can see where the shell is actually at. It's much, it's much more important to do that on 200 CC because 200 CC, the shell doesn't, it's like, it's, it takes a longer time to hit you. So it's much easier to mistime the horn on 200 CC than it is on a 150. We're already up 200 points from where we started. Yoshi circuit is an interesting course. Pay attention to the mini map on this one. I want to check something out. I want to see people play the course the way it's supposed to be played. Nope, everybody is playing it like I play it. Yoshi Circuit is uh, what's called a bagging course. So there's a ton of shortcuts on Yoshi Circuit. And so people sometimes will purposely hang out in the very back at the start of the race to grab really good items because it's just so much faster. I should have used my coin a little bit earlier there so because I, I know a double item box is coming. Aw, oh, dude, see, I was like holding the banana, but then I still got hit. Nothing you can really do there. I was trying to play it. Play it safe. I did a little bit of a left hop there for alignment. Not really super important to do stuff like that, but... And so you want to take inside lines as much as you can. Like, I'm not playing super optimally, but it's like I'm trying to hang out on these track barriers, like these red and white track barriers as much as I can. That's one thing to point out is like, you should be trying to take tight lines wherever you can. Like this is not hard to do at all. I'm not doing any fancy drifting mechanics. I'm like literally just like neutral drifting with a little bit of hard drifting here and there. But as long as you're sort of taking all the turns super tight, like I just totally dominated middle Mario by doing nothing else than just drive like good driving. 
But not even like great driving, just like decent driving. And again, you'll learn all that if you time trial as well. And the only reason I'm dragging the green shell behind me, I know I just went on a whole rant about why you shouldn't do that. Um, oh, also, you always need to be prepared. Most people... I'm trying to think of how to word this. Most people know how to play the game. And if somebody is throwing a red shell at you when you're in first and they're in second and they know you have a defensive item, the chances are that they have two red shells. And so you just need to be aware of that and, and just just reflexively hold an item behind you if you're not going to be using your rearview mirror. Dude, and though. Let me see if I can get... Oh, I don't want to do that. But see, he did that. He had two red shells in a row twice. Can I make it? Dude, okay, I made it <laughs> just in time. But yeah, so if you're in first and somebody can see you have a defensive item, like most people in second place are not going to be using a single red shell on you because if you're in first place and you have any idea what you're doing, chances are you're going to have at least one defensive item. So if you're not comfortable using your rear view mirror and you're in first place and you've got a defensive item and somebody throws a red shell at you, it's you know people get good at timing it and you should just reflexively start holding your second item behind you right away i wouldn't recommend that what i would recommend doing is using your rear view mirror again to, to see whether or not there is two red shells coming if there's not then second place wasted their red shell and that's really bad item play but that's why most people won't do that and so you'll just want to be like okay well there's probably two red shells coming so i almost always just will hold the second item behind me if i'm not like paying super close attention to my rear view mirror and being all try hard I'm hoping that the advice I'm like laying out here is like pretty helpful so far. Um, it's 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 a little bit complicated. Red fan, I will be doing 200 CC staff ghosts uh, at some point. I want to do it sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, I'm basically like all the tips I'm laying out right now. This is basically all you need to know. Like, so I'm trying to avoid. I saw Metal Mario dragging a green shell and I was trying to not be right behind him there. It was kind of tricky. Sometimes you can't really avoid it, but... And I'm taking a purposely bad line to get double items here. Normally you'd want to ha hang super tight on this turn like I'm doing right now, but you can't really do that all the time. And Metal Mario just dropped right on top of me. Now I'm going to just like get rid of this bomb up here. I'm going to throw it so that I can hopefully hit the person next to me and get the next double item boxes. Now here I actually do want a mushroom, so I can take this shortcut. And I use my horn because I know that people are going to be uh, trying to take the shortcut as well. So, mushrooms are pretty good in this course because there's a ton of shortcuts. I'm gonna mushroom here so I can pay my items and grab the double item box. I was super aggressive there. I shouldn't have done that. I was really trying to get uh, Wario with the horn. I shouldn't have done that, though. I should have held on to it just in case I got hit. Dang it, dude. Uh, do I do this? I go for it. Uh-oh. I'm going to try and draft him. Oh, I was going to try and draft Wario. I couldn't do it, though. If you hang out behind somebody for a while... Oh, one other thing I should point out, actually. So, I mentioned that you never want to be dragging defensive items behind you just, like, for the hell of it. But you kind of do when second place is really close behind you because there's, like, not really much telling what they can do. What I did right there, I knew that Wario was falling really closely behind me, so I purposely just dropped my bomb because I knew that a double item box was coming. And so it's like, well, I might as well try and get some utility out of this bomb because now that Wario is not right on my ass, um... I'm a lot safer. So, basically what I meant was like, if you're holding an item behind you, uh, sorry, let me try and see how to word this. If second place is like right next to you, then it's oftentimes better just to hold the defensive item behind you because if they throw it and you're not constantly looking at your rear view mirror, 
the item like that indicator just like will not come up quick enough for you to react so you just hold it behind you to be safe if second place is like even more than a couple of cart lengths behind you then then you don't want to drag the items behind you but what i was doing was basically like i recognized the fact that like that i was very close to second place so i'm like all right i'm gonna just hold this item behind me so that i don't get hit and then i saw wario was really close to me when i had a bomb so i'm like well let me try and get him away from me and see if I can punish him for, for trying to draft me, essentially. So I dropped the bomb, he got hit, and then I was able to grab a double item box, like, right away. Also, bongo picks. I don't know if you're leaving. I'm assuming you're leaving from that message, but... Oh, no, you're still here. Yeah. So I'm going to hold this behind me again, just because of the fact that like it's the very start of the race and second place is very close. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to react if I'm not looking at my rearview mirror. You can take this shortcut here if you're if you're comfortable with it. I'm not going to just because of the fact that I want to play this as if you're not somebody who's put 1200 hours into this game. So. And I'm going to use my coin here so I can just get two items. I can potentially get two defensive items there, which would be helpful. I only got a coin, so that's not what I would have wanted. But again, you, you can only do so much, right? Oh, I'm sorry. When I said last race, I meant more like the commentated races. I'm still doing fewer races after this. Okay, so like right now, I'm super, I was gonna say right now I'm super far ahead of second place, so I have more than enough time to react if they throw a red shell at me. Now, again, you could take a super tight line there, but I'm already really far ahead. I screwed this up. I'm already really far ahead, so I don't need to take super tight lines to get even further ahead. So I'm more interested in getting items. But I'm going to get hit by a blue shell, so it doesn't really matter anyway. I used my item again before the double item box so that I could potentially get two defensive items if I didn't. So, again, you kind of just have to play the odds. I had the coin there so that I didn't have that happen. Now I have a banana still, which is nice. And the next time I come up to a double to an item box, so I have a coin here. I want my coin to be in my first slot so I don't get it stolen again. So what are we gonna do? We are going to actually uh, well, we're gonna get hit by a red shell because second place keeps getting double reds all day and there's nothing I can do about that. What I was going to do is basically just drop the, the banana before getting the uh, the item box anyways. So that I could... Uh, so that I can get like a, a, an item, a defensive item in my second slot. And I'm not doing anything super crazy driving wise. It's like literally just trying to be as defensive as possible. And that's really all you need to do. Like, honestly, if you're playing defensively, you're trying to keep your defensive items in your second slot. If you get a defensive item in your first slot, switch it out as soon as you can. You know, you you basically just want to make sure that you're trying to not get wrecked. That's the, the name of the game. If you can stop yourself from getting hit by stuff, then it's like it makes it it's like you're going to be like way ahead of everybody else. 